am Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today, I'll show you several ways to change colors in crochet. The first way is like this. Begin your last single crochet on the row. Grab the next color yarn. Use it to draw through the two loops on your hook. Then chain, turn your work, and continue with the new color yarn. You can either cut the green yarn and weave it in, or carry it up along the sides. If you carry it up after two rows of the pink, you can grab the green yarn and change colors again with it. If you are making double crochet, it's a similar process. Draw the new color through the last two loops, chain, and turn. When working in the round, begin your slip stitch, then draw the new color through the last two loops. And proceed with the new color. In spiral crochet in the round, it's a little tricky. Insert the yarn where instructed in the pattern. But at the end, because of the spiral, the last stitch is up higher than the first stitch. To even it out, for this round, I like to make a loose slip stitch at the base of the first stitch. Then make a single crochet in the first stitch. Proceed along with the spiral crochet. Skip over that slip stitch and proceed to put a single crochet in the first single crochet and continue working in spirals, you'll see that the rounds kind of even out now. Another way to change colors or even add a new yarn is to finish off the last color. Then with the new color, place a slip knot on your hook. Now you can enter your hook on the end or even halfway into a row. A slip stitch will help secure it, then just follow the pattern. With tapestry crochet, you oftentimes carry and crochet over the yarn. You can see how I've inserted the pink yarn, and when I make my stitches, I'm crocheting my stitches right over the pink yarn. Then just drop the green yarn and pick up the pink yarn when needed. Now I'm crocheting over the green yarn. And I drop the pink yarn and pick up the green yarn again. You can see how this is nice and neat on both sides. Another way to do this, if you don't really care about what the back looks like, is to carry the yarn across the back of the work. You can see when I turn it over how the strands are carried across the back. And finally, the last method is a bit more difficult since you will need small amounts of yarn for each section or blocks of color changes. With this method, you aren't carrying the yarn. You'll begin by crocheting the first section with the green color. Then switch to the second section with the pink color yarn. Then 
and start another green yarn for the last section. I proceed to crochet with the green yarn from this previous section. Then I drop the green yarn and switch to the pink yarn for the next section. Then I drop the pink yarn and switch to the green yarn for the last section. With this method, sometimes you'll drop the yarn in the front and sometimes you'll drop the yarn in the back. It depends upon the design as well as the pattern's instructions. And when you look at the back of this work, it is extremely nice and neat and clean. These are just some of the methods I use to change colors in crochet.